So there you can see the popliteal vein and the artery, and you can see the beginning of the lesser saphenous or small saphenous vein, and you can see it going superficially, and then also the gastrocnemius vein right there, right? So you can go sagittal, right there. So as you go down from here, you're gonna to wanna to come medial there in order to get the, the tibial peritoneal trunk. So you go further down, and right there you'll start to see it, right? So mine seems to be, and the posterior or tibial peritoneal trunk, which then bifurcates into posterior tibial and peritoneal vein. But in this case, I have the anterior tibial vein coming off there, and then the posterior tibial vein, and then I have the peritoneal vein also coming into the popliteal. So the trifurcation is right at the popliteal. All right, so using the 9L, I'm gonna go into the calf, medial calf and angle towards the tibia. And you should be able to see all four vessels and the two arteries there. So that's the posterior tibial artery there. And if you go a little bit forward and angle a little bit back, you should be able to get both vessels. And that's the other one right there. And if I squeeze, you'll see the flow in all four veins. Lower the gain a little bit so it doesn't feel too much. There you go. Very pretty. All right, so I hope you found that useful. So remember, popliteals, you get it here, which most people know. And then for the, the tibial perineal trunk, you get it here. Everybody's going to be a little different. Some people have a very long tibial perineal trunk. Some people, like me, have a variant where they have a common origin of the posterior tibial vein and anterior tibial vein, or and perineal vein, to the popliteal, as well as the anterior tibial vein, which in the image is going to be more deeper, right? Because we are approaching it medially and anteriorly. All right, so hope you found that useful. Bye.